doing the vCenter Operations Capacity Planning and Management video series. My name is Ben Shear and I am a member of the product team for vCenter Operations here at VMware. Also note our new Twitter handle, at vCenter Ops. This is the last of four videos that dive deeper into the capacity planning and optimization capabilities for vCenter Ops. Please use the direct URLs or access the VMware YouTube channel to access these videos. For more information on the vCenter Operations Management Suite, please consider the following two videos, vCenter Operations Version 5 Introduction with Kit Colbert, vCenter Infrastructure Navigator Overview with me, Ben Shearer, as well as the product homepage on VMware.com. So without further ado, let's begin. The capabilities within the what-if scenarios haven't changed too much from the previous version of Capacity IQ, but we, what we have added is quite a bit more data to help you decide on how to model and what would best fit your particular scenario. So as we go through and build a scenario, pick a scenario, for example, remove virtual machines that are idle. And again, as you look at how I've scrolled through the data that we provide, everything, memory total, memory utilization, disk total, disk utilization, and also notice thin provisioning. So if it's a thin provision VM, for example, that will give you more of an accurate view. So you can run through the scenarios, pick the data, manipulate your models, uh, and it, your scenarios to, to give you the information that you need, obviously, at your fingertips, and being able to export this into uh, reports that can be shared with management, that type of thing. So this gives a bit more in-depth view into the capacity planning and management within vCenter Operations Manager version 5. Thank you for viewing this video series. If you missed any of the other videos, you may access them via the following URLs or through the VMware YouTube channel. Thank you again, and this is Ben Shearer, signing off.